Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to hand knit. Um, hand weave, hand knit. It's, I'm making scarves. Let me show you one that I've made. So, um, this is one of the scarves I've been making. They're very warm. I'm making them out of chenille. And then this is out of, um, I don't know what this is called, but it's still pretty soft. I made this in art class. And then we're going to be making, sorry, my light fell. We're going to be making a hand knit out of this yarn. So, first thing is you stick the end of the yarn inside of your fingers. If you want, you can cut it, but if you have this kind of ball of yarn, chenille thing, you can use whatever one you want. It kind of has to be thin and be able to wrap around your fingers. I have kind of small fingers. So, you take it like this, and you wrap it around your fingers like this. And you don't wrap around your thumb. And you have to have like three on each of your fingers. So it kind of gets a little confusing in the start. So, and then you pull this over, oopsie. I'll show you on a different finger. So you pull two strings over, the ones at the bottom, and you leave one string on. You pull these two, pull it down like that, and it kind of looks like a mumble jumbled mess at the start, but it won't look like that when you're done. And you need to keep on Uh oh. Sorry guys, I need to redo that. So like, you need to keep on going. I'm sorry, I'm kind of bad at explaining things. But you keep on going until you have three strings on each. And then you keep going over and over. And over. And if, I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of turning into a little knit. I'm going to kind of do a speed run here. So I hope you don't mind. You can always slow down the video if I'm going too fast, or you can pause the video. Um, it kind of takes a while to make a scarf, but it is pretty worth it. I've been selling mine um, just at a lemonade stand and it's pretty fun to make these. I've just kind of made it a little hobby of mine and you just need to keep weaving till you get it to the good length and you can tie it however you want. I just kind of make a knot a couple knots and tie bows and stuff but I'll try to show you an example on one of my other ones that I've made but they look really good at the end and it's kind of turning into a good weave and I don't know if you can tell but the yarn just kind of rolls off of there and it looks really nice and you can like put different colors inside of them and like mix, mix mash, ombre them. Um, you can make themes. It's a pretty creative project. You can do a lot of variety. It's very, you can, I don't know what the word is. Like you can do a lot of different kind of things with them. Variety, yeah, variety. But, I really hope you guys found this video helpful. And you just kind of start repeat, keep repeating the thing.
the whole pattern if you um so then we don't have to do the whole thing but this video um oh it got pretty long and don't try to go this fast sorry my light keeps falling but that's fine um i'm trying to keep it bright in here but it starts it starts to make a knit sorry if you can see my lights i'm just kind of trying to <laughs> keep the light on it cuz it's kind of dark here and as you can see it turned into a really soft nice knit and then if you need to like stop then so then you can keep your place and by the way you don't need to keep holding the string after you kind of get a knit in like the string that you're holding that you're supposed to be holding with your thumb and if you need to stop you can stick a pencil through and take it off your fingers and then when you're ready then you stick it back in uh dang it sometimes it gets a little confusing but uh oh all right you have to put your fingers through the loops sorry a little confusing and then you just keep going but remember don't pull the bottom string or else sometimes it can come undone but yeah um now let me try to explain the knots so the knots can be a bit tricky um so here's one that i did um it's kind of like a triple knot slash bow because it kind of is mumble jumbled um and it's pretty fun to make this these once you get the hang of it so i hope you guys found this video really useful and i will see you next time bye bye